Hi, I'm David Boy Smith, and this is my wife, Diana. Hi. And in the Squirt Circle, I'm known as the British Bulldog, and I've been wrestling for more than 20 years. Professional wrestling is one of the most physically demanding sports around, and Davey Boy is one of the most physically fit professional wrestlers around. That's right, and my sport has taken me all over the world, and I've been asked a million questions by a million different people. Questions like, what's your favorite cartoon? How'd you get into wrestling? Do you have a family? But the question Davey's asked more than anything is how did you get so fit? That's right, so me and my wife Diana, we've come up with a three-day workout routine that worked for us, and I guarantee it will work for you. So, without further ado, I'm gonna answer that question and a lot more when you get up close and personal with the British Bulldog and his wife. This is my first day of my uh, three-day workout routine. First, I'd like to do uh, chest and triceps. Chest is the uh, major muscle group for my chest, and. Uh, Triceps is the minor muscle group, because after I've done chest, my triceps are already warmed up. Right, and I think it's also good to mention that when you're training chest, don't use the strength of other body parts, like your legs or your back or your shoulders, to execute the motion. And uh, keep this relative perspective in mind when you're doing all of the exercises. So, Ready? Yeah, wait. You want to look just right. All right. Okay, let's warm up. All right. First, I'm going to do uh, the crossover cables to grab both weight in my hands, distribute the weight evenly through my feet with my seat out, my abdominals in, my upper chest up, then squeeze the weight up as high as hard as I can and squeeze the weight together. Davey uses a lighter weight on this exercise because it is a warm-up exercise. And warming up is very important because it discourages pulling and tearing muscles. After I've done eight reps, I change the, my stance, and then I come in together and cross it with a hold of two seconds on each rep. Keep that full stretch. You're doing this movement for a count of seven, so you've got eight from the first way and seven this way for a total of 15 reps. This is a variation of the uh, flat barbell bench press but uh, Diane and I would rather use uh, dumbbells for two reasons. Number one is you get a better stretch on the way down and on the way up. And number two is I train so heavy and she trains so light that we'd have to keep switching the weights off and on the bar all the time. So we prefer to use the dumbbells. And Diana likes to keep her feet up in the air so she can't uh, cheat and push through her feet. Uh, breathing out, exhaling on the effort, and inhaling on the way down yeah. is very important. Yeah, I seen a lot of big guys in the gym get lightheaded or even pass out from not breathing correctly. So breathing is uh, really uh, essential in this movement. As you can see, the British Bulldog has put himself inside the power cage for another explosive movement for the upper pec. This is called the uh, inclined barbell press, which is good for the upper pec region. Yeah, this is a very important exercise to do because if you happen to be bony or hollow up here in the upper chest, this exercise will uh, help develop the muscle. And as you can see, Davey is doing this exercise right because he's got a lot of movement That's up it. there. That's it. Make sure my feet in a good position again, good stance. Bring the weight up, inhale on the way down, and exhale on the way up. Just below the chin. I like to do this movement. Good, powerful, explosive movement. When I do this exercise, since I'm not the dynamic powerhouse that Davey is, I do 12 to 15 repetitions for four sets with a much lighter weight. This next exercise, I'm going to be doing flat dumbbell flies, and Davey's going to be doing inclined dumbbell flies. I do the flat flies to work the entire chest area, and Davey's going to do the inclined flies to work the upper chest area. And remember, Davey, this is a stretching exercise, so you don't want to use heavy weight. You do about 15 repetitions for four sets. That's right. And for this exercise, I like to keep my arms slightly bent, because if I keep them straight, I end up tearing something. So I bring them down slightly bent, and bring it up like I'm hugging a burr. Burr? 
or bear? Uh, I said burr. Where I come from in Warrington, England, we say burrs. What kind of burrs do you know in Warrington? Well, I knew one big burr, and he's my inspiration, and my bodybuilding trainer, Walter O'Malley. And if you think I'm strong, he used to bench press old train wheels, rusty train wheels, with ease. Just adjusted the seat so I can get ready for my final chest exercise. It's called the pec deck fly, and it works the whole entire pec area, and it's great. I just love it. This is a good exercise to finish chest off with because we're doing lightweight, a lot of repetitions. We do it to the point of failure, which means doing it at a lightweight till you can't do it anymore. Your muscles are just exhausted. You can't even do it at the lightest weight. Your muscles are, are fatigued. And right now, Davey is not using the strength of his hands. He's using his forearms flat against the pad, and his elbows are staying in. This builds a lot of definition straight up the center of the chest. After going through a grueling chest workout, which involves a lot of pushing, which involves a lot of tricep, I like to jump right into my tricep workout and do my first tricep exercise, which is one of my favorite ones, which is called the 10-10-10. It's 10 narrow, 10 shoulder width, and then 10 narrow again. For each set? For each set, 10-10-10. When you're doing this exercise, you never fully lock your arms out. They, they almost lock, but not quite. And you never bring the bar any higher than about this level. Otherwise, you'll be using your upper body to force the weight down. This, with the close grip, works the inner tricep, which is this muscle here. It's the smaller of the two tricep muscles, the outer and the inner. This inner tricep muscle on Davy is, is uh, incredible. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's like a glacier. Then I go shoulder width. The shoulder width wider grip works the outer tricep, which is this one. And uh, I call this a horseshoe on the back of Davy's arm. Davy's got incredible triceps. They're so hard. There's a lot of shape to them. And an inner tricep isn't really a big muscle, but Davy's is huge. Back to the last one. Remember, always keep your arms, forearms perpendicular to the floor. Never fully extend your arms. Never bring them too high. Keep the weight on your triceps at all times. This exercise should really start to burn. We do a total of 30, three sets of 10, 10, 10. And uh, if you don't feel this exercise burning by about the second set, you're either using a weight that's too light or you're putting your body too much into it. And you also don't need to use a really tight grip. The, the uh, motion is all directed from the muscle of the triceps. This next tricep exercise is called the nose breaker. And in a second, I'll show you why they call it a nose breaker. I hand Diana the easy curl bar with her arms fully extended. So she got, make sure she gets the correct balance. She brings the bar down to her nose and fully extends it up all the way. Keeping her elbows in at all times. I exhale on the effort or the push. Inhale on the way down. Yeah. I like to keep my thumbs wrapped around the bar so that, as a safety precaution, so that the bar never <coughs> hits me in the nose like yeah. that. Have you ever actually seen anybody break their proboscis doing this exercise, Davey? You mean the nose? Yeah, their nose. No, not, not the nose, but I've seen them drop on the head a few times. So it's good you got a good uh, handle on the bar. It's another one of my favorite tricep exercises. The lying dumbbell press. Bring the dumbbell down to my chest. Up, but don't fully extend the arm. Keep the weight on the tricep at all times. 
it's pretty well impossible to cheat on this exercise, isn't it? Yeah, you can't cheat. If you're going to cheat, then you just drop the weight right on your face, knock all your teeth out. <laughs> you do this 10 reps for four sets? Yeah. Yeah. 10 reps for four sets. Yeah, I do uh, 15 reps for four sets, but a much lighter weight. Yeah. I remember when you used to do this exercise with Harry in Georgia. Yeah, when he was younger, I used to throw him around quite a bit. Now, he's throwing me around in the ring. Yeah, that reminds me I've got to pick up some chicken tonight for Harry. He wants chicken all king for dinner. Well, that, that sounds pretty good. I'll, t I'll take some of that while you're at it too. <laughs> so you have to cook. Okay. Our whole family has a pretty good palate. You know, I think that comes from all the different countries Davey's wrestled in, and he brings home uh, a taste of uh, where he's been, and uh, we've all acquired a taste for that too. Yeah, I've been known to eat in uh, four different countries in the same week, like United States, Canada, Dubai, England. So I try to eat good. I, I, I eat moderately, yeah. so I try to take care of my body. Yeah, we all love our food in our family, but yeah. uh, we do eat in moderation. And I guess when you're not getting what your body needs, that multivitamin that you take every day helps too, doesn't it? Yeah, you need the vitamins, supplements, vitamins, you need everything. This next tricep exercise is called reverse grip tricep pushdown. So you grab the bar, not with the reverse grip, with your thumbs on the outside, bend your body slightly, then lower the weight down, <clears throat> so your arms are perpendicular to the floor. Never bring it all the way up. Almost never like higher you're, than this? No, never higher than that. Like, you, like your arms like a letter L. Oh, yeah. Keep the strain on the weights, on, on the tricep at all times. And I don't lock my arms out? No, don't lock your arms out. This is really good for the whole entire tricep area of uh, Diana's arm back here. Keeps her in good shape. Keep my abdominals in. My yeah. chest out a little bit. Yeah, always good posture on these exercises. Exhale on the way down. Yeah. Last exercise I like to do for my triceps is uh, one of my favorites. It's called a bent over tricep extension with a rope. I put the rope in my arms evenly together, put my right foot in front of my left, bring the weight down using my upper torso and Bring my arms straight up over my head. Gee. This really works the entire tricep area. It's, it's really, really hard back here. It's like a picnic egg to eat. Yeah. Because of gravity, that's where your uh, fat and everything falls is, is to your tricep, which happens to be the biggest muscle in your arm. So it's good to keep it in uh, excellent shape. Yeah. And for an added little thing at the end, I like to bring my wrists out with a rope, kind of a twist to more, get that extra burn. A little more intensity. Yeah. And how many sets and reps are you doing? I do four sets of this with about 15 repetitions. It's a good one to finish off. Yeah. For your triceps. It's a great one, my favorite. magazines and yeah, I hoped one day to be built like the guys in the muscle magazines so I uh, joined the gym I wanted uh, to be big and strong at that point I didn't know if I was gonna be a wrestler or not I just um, got, got into the muscle magazines it g gave me uh, inspiration to, to uh, train hard my, my uh, cousin the dynamite kid who was a professional wrestler at the time, took me over to the uh, training camp. I, mean, I didn't want to go there, you know, but 
my mum and dad won't made me go there too to get me off the streets. I wasn't a bad kid, but they didn't want me to turn out, you know, like some of the other kids on the street. So I started uh, training um, for pro wrestling when I was like I was about 12 and a half. And uh, as, a, as a really strict trainer, kind of like almost a guy from uh, Rocky. I'd say, I can't do this. You can do it. You will do it. And then I had my first professional match when I was uh, 15. So I was the youngest professional wrestler ever to turn pro at the age of uh, 15. You were still in school, too? Uh, I was still in school, yeah. I used to uh, deliver newspapers in my hometown all over the place. And uh, to pay my uh, kind of like tuition to be a professional wrestler, um, I had to work on a fruit round and uh, deliver fruit. And, Pedal my bike, you know, with bags of potatoes and carrots and turnips and whatever. My trainer would make me jump over the gate, like hurdle the gate, you know. I was like, ah, oh. it was a real, real strict training. It was, it was really good for me, and um, it brought me up in a good, good way. And um, I came to Calgary when I was uh, 17 and uh, joined the, the Stampede Wrestling Circuit with Bruce and Ross and Brett and Owen. And uh, from then I went on to Japan and then went on to the big time. Uh, I was about 15 and I started to train at my brother-in-law's gym, BJ's here in Calgary. And uh, I thought I would do better in sports and school if I could be stronger in the gym. It took a long time before I got the nerve up to train with Davey because I always thought he was quite an, an expert, even when he was 18. And then um, he had a really bad car accident in 1989. And I um, wanted to be a part of his recuperation and try to push him. You know, I, he was really hurt badly, and he didn't know if he would even wrestle again. And um, I uh, trained really hard with him. and. Uh, after about six months of training, I got the notion that I would <laughs> go into a bodybuilding contest. I was quite um, apprehensive about telling anybody so that they would probably say, oh, she could never do it. But I, I did it. I, I did as well as I could do. And I think I have some, no, I don't know, uh, some knowledge now from dieting and doing an actual contest. She knows more than me. No, I don't. Yes, she does. She does. This is day two of uh, my workout, which is back and biceps. When I go in the ring, I love to show off my big V-shaped back from training hard. When uh, I do train back, I love to start my back exercises with uh, seated lateral pull downs behind the neck. Put my knees under the pad making sure that the weight won't pull me off the machine. And from there, I pull the weight down right behind my neck. And a wide grip helps develop your laterals or your lats. You're also using your traps, your trapezius muscles, and the lower back. And you can see when he's squeezing on the way down for that extra intensity, you can see the, how he's uh, defining his back muscles. He's just got an incredible, incredibly big back. You do this for 10, 10 reps, yeah. four sets, and I do a lighter weight for 15 sets, 15 reps. Well, I'm here with the little guy, Davey. Did you get tall all of a sudden or what? Oh. There we go, that's better. Nice try, Diane. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do what I call the wide grip lat pulley to the chest, which is very similar to the exercise Davey just demonstrated for you. Except we pull this down in front. And your positioning here is gonna be your chest expanded, your abdominals in, your shoulders down. And we're gonna inha inhale on the pull, which is different than the chest exercises where we exhaled on the push. This works the uh, upper part of the uh, lats to give you that nice V-shaped look that Diana's got. She's really defined. But if you want a big, thick back like uh, myself, I would use a lot more weight, like 250 to 300 pound pulls. 
for about uh, four sets of uh, 10 repetitions. I do about 15 repetitions for about four sets yeah. with a much lighter weight. For a little more intensity, you can hold. That's it. Excellent. As you can see, we're still on the same machine because I don't like to hop from machine to machine when I'm in the gym. Just uh, change the bars. This one's called a close grip pulley to the chest. Put my knees under the pad. I like to use a nice heavy weight for this one and bring the weight straight down to my chest, to the lower part of my chest, and squeeze my lats together on it. You can see this really develops thickness in Davey. Not, not thick skull or thick skin, but thick back. He's got an absolutely fantastic uh, mass here. And it gives him that uh, weight that, that makes him a heavy weight when he's wrestling. And women don't have to train heavy on this, but still develop their back so they have a really nice profile from the side. And Davey does this for about 10 reps. Yeah, 10 reps. Four, four sets. sets. Really heavy weight. And I do about 15 repetitions with, with a much lighter weight for four sets. That's good, Davey. This next exercise is not a headlock, so if you want to let me go so I can do my exercise. You didn't say I give. I give. All right, say please. Please. All right. All right. This exercise, I like to put my uh, knee on the bench. I am on the bench, so I keep my weight evenly distributed through my body, keep my balance good, bring the dumbbell up, and then bring it up to the chest. Like I'm trying to hit my elbow through the ceiling. Yeah, you're working uh, the entire lat area which is this whole area here. You've got absolutely phenomenal development on your lat area here. You're not swinging. Nope. Your abdominals are tight. Uh, I do about 15 lighter reps for four sets, and you do 10 heavy reps yeah. for four sets. That's great, Davey. you make a good wrestler one day. To finish off my back routine, I like to do the uh, straight arm pull downs where I put my feet together arch my back, put my seat out a little bit, and bring my arms straight down with the bar, like I'm trying to pull the bar right through my pelvis area. You're also working your abdominals. But the main point of this exercise is to work your lower back. And you can see what Davy and I call is the Christmas tree. Davy's got a really, really nice Christmas tree. And you can see the crevice here in his lower back too. Uh, that's tremendous, Davey. You do about uh, 15 of these with medium weight, four sets? Yeah, four sets of 15. And I do 15 with a much lighter weight for yeah, four sets. that's correct. And enough to be a challenge, though. After a grueling back workout, which involves uh, quite a bit of uh, pulling, which involves your biceps. I like to jump in and do my first set of bicep exercises with the standing uh, alternate dumbbell curls with my feet shoulder width apart. Bring the dumbbells up. For this exercise, Dan likes to be seated for this one. Yeah, I prefer to be seated because uh, a person could cheat uh, using their body if they're standing. And, uh... I don't like to cheat. I'm a painfully honest person. Well, this exercise, at the very top, I like to turn my wrists out so I get an extra peak. It's a good, powerful exercise. And it's good for mass and it's good for definition. I do about 12 to 15 repetitions of these at uh, uh, enough of a weight to be a challenge for four sets. And Davey does a heavier weight for four sets. 10 to 15 repetitions as well. You know, Davey, your biceps leave me breathless and speechless. <laughs> this next bicep exercise, I like to call it the 21s. You don't really see it in the gym that much anymore, but I really like it. It's one of my favorites. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, bring the weight up. First seven, you bring from the waist halfway up. For a count of seven. And then for the second seven, you go from the chin to the midsection, 
of the bicep. And for the last seven, do a full barbell curl. You're using your full range of motion of your bicep. Yeah. And you're keeping your abdominals in so you don't have lower back stress. Yeah. You do uh, three sets of 21. Yeah. Yeah, I use a lot lighter weight, but uh, the same amount of sets. You don't have a lot of fat on your biceps, so when you're training biceps, you'll probably notice improvement there more so than anywhere else on your body, faster. This exercise also builds a lot of intestinal fortitude and character. This next exercise, um, Diane is going to demonstrate it. She's at the preacher bench. She's going to do some preacher bench uh, bar curl, straight bar curls. Yeah, the, this exercise is really good for developing your peaks and your biceps. And it also helps uh, enhance this muscle here that attaches your chest and your bicep. Okay, so I'm going to start first. Stomach's in when you do this exercise. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. I do these for a count of 15 per set. Four sets. In the last five of every set, I pull up slowly and hold for a count of five, and then release slowly. When I do this exercise, um, I do 10 to 15 repetitions, but I use, I use a lot more weight to get that big bicep look in my arms. So I do a lot more weight, but, but the same repetitions. My final bicep exercise, I like to stand in the cable crossover machine and do standing cable bicep curls. This isn't a mass building exercise, but this is one for building definition in your bicep. So when I'm doing this, I do a much lighter weight than Davey, but we both do 15 repetitions for four sets. So I go a lot heavier. And sometimes on this exercise, I do one arm at a time and really concentrate on that peak. Let's get that peak in the split in the bicep. If you want to keep your biceps balanced too, make sure you're center in this machine and you have the same amount of weight on both sides. Otherwise, you have one bicep shaped differently than the other. And for the final five, I do them as close as I can to my head for that last burn. More than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. George, newspapers. Pin in, George, pin me. <laughs> Pin me. Can I go up the top row? Please. I came to Calgary when I was uh, 17. I saw his picture in the wrestling program first, and I was. Uh, infatuated with him. I wanted to meet him and I really wasn't that way about anybody before. I was told not to go anywhere near the promoter's daughters or anything like that so I, I didn't know anything about Diana or, or any of the daughters. And when I met him he his accent and his charm and the way he conducted himself and he was just so uh, so nice and I couldn't bear the thought of anybody else having that uh, you know, the benefit of Davy. I had no intentions of, of uh, dating anyone, just wanted to get into wrestling and do good, make some money, and then, you know, go back to England. So I made a point of getting his fan mail that was sent to the house, and I would deliver it to him, and it gave me an excuse to see him without looking like I was, a, you know, a crazed fan. I met Diana. It's here in this doorway right here. Yeah, in this doorway. Idea. He wasn't just a, a wrestler that was passing through town and, you know, he wasn't like that. He was really, uh, I, I was really, uh, he's always been very nice to me. Respectful and generous, funny, charming, good looking, suave, <laughs> debonair. Stop it. <laughs>
it's it's really hard, you know. It's you know I'm on the road and you know I work out every day on the weights and wrestle at night, and then when I come home, I just want to you know rest, relax with my family. But now Diana trains with me, so it makes it that much easier now. So it's uh, we put the you know take the kids to school and we do aerobics in the morning and then mid afternoon we go and work out do whatever we have to do and go and have a coffee and things like that. So it, it, I try to balance my, my, my time. He's the only boy in Jazzercise. Yeah. He's the only, he got a prize for that last, on Halloween. We try to get our kids into as many sports as, as possible. You know, we've got Harry and George in Hapkido and George in synchronized swimming. Um, Harry likes to, you know, play a little bit of hockey or he's, is uh, wrestling. It's just every day is something new. I would like to see Harry wrestle because that's his love. But I want him to get a get an education. Harry would be a good chiropractor or maybe a, a lawyer. He's very good at with debating with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would uh, be proud of Harry if he became a wrestler, if that's what he wants to do. George is very talented. She's very uh, attractive. I think she'd be a excellent model and she's got a really good voice for singing but I don't want her in wrestling <laughs> so re la lady wrestling is out of the question yeah. but um, she likes to have keto and uh, synchronized swimming and things like that I think she'll turn out to be really good in what she does At both we have pretty good kids yeah they're nice uh, I enjoyed her real, really, really good well-rounded kids really polite and they're really nice. We're going to start our day three routine by training legs. Our first exercise starts off as a warm up exercise, but with each set, we're going to increase the weight a little bit, get our legs ready for our next exercise, which is squats. This exercise, I like to keep the pad just above my ankles on my shin bones, so when I lean back, I can get the full extension of my thigh. This is a nice controlled movement and you go s down slowly and you fully extend your leg when you bring it up. That's why it's called a leg extension. You can notice all the definition in Davy's leg. He trains a little heavier per set than I do. I train uh, moderately light, uh, but Davy wants to build his legs up and I, I don't. <laughs> I want my legs toned and defined but not big. Doing 15 repetitions of these for four sets will get your legs pretty warmed up. Now we've uh, warmed up our thighs, our legs. Diana's going to demonstrate the uh, squats. Okay, to start with, keep your feet about shoulder width apart. This exercise works mostly the quadriceps. So keep your feet about shoulder width apart to work the seat and the backs of your legs. Don't have your feet too far apart or you develop a, a wide appearance from the back. Wide seat. Back out of the machine and make sure that your feet are the same, that one foot isn't in front of the other or too far ahead because you, you'll uh, twist when you do the movement. That's it. Diana prefers to use a 45 pound bar so she gets that nice defined look in her thighs where myself I would go to about four or five hundred pounds for four sets of eight to ten repetitions because I like to get the big bulky thighs. I do about fifteen repetitions. You know, remember to keep your stomach yeah, in nice resting. and tight when you do this. Or Breathe in on the way down and exhale yeah. on the way up. Diana just demonstrated the squats. Now I'm going to do the uh, leg press. You get inside the machine. This is a really good exercise if you've got a lower back problem. So you can stay away from squats. I do the leg press, put my legs, but shoulder width on the machine. Yeah, squarely planted. Make sure the, you push the weight up, get off the safety pins, keep hold all times of the safety pins, then lower the weight down yeah. to your chest. Yeah. Then explode on the way up. Making sure. When I come up, I don't lock my legs out. I keep the weight on my legs at all times. 
Yeah, you don't lock your knees or you can hyperextend them. Yeah, that's right. Before. If you're training really heavy like Davey does, he usually puts about a thousand pounds on this, but he'll wrap his knees really tightly. And I train with about 35 to 50 pounds on this. And um, we do about 10 to 15 repetitions for four sets. Oh, Davey, love yeah. of my life, would you be a sport and hand me that bar? Sure. Okay. I want to demonstrate how to do lunges, which are one of my favorite exercises for legs. Begin with your feet firmly planted on the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. The back knee comes down. I do this alternating legs, 10 per leg, total of 20 reps for four sets. Yeah, as you can see, Diane's just using a bar for this, so you don't need a lot of weight. Even when, when I do this with Diana in the gym, I just use a, a small weight because this is not a, a building exercise. It's for shaping and toning the uh, whole entire leg area and the glutes and the, around the seat. It really tightens everything up to give you really good, tight shape around the legs. If you don't use weight on this, it's still an excellent exercise, but adding a little weight you'll see results faster. Yeah, you'll be able to walk the next day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that goes away eventually, though. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna test the strength with my best wrestling opponent, my wife here. <laughs> okay, All right. enough, Davey. I've no got... filling around. I need to talk about my hamstrings okay. right now. Okay, go ahead. It's very important to me. Okay, this next exercise works your hamstrings. It's called the leg curl machine. I do uh, 15 repetitions of these for four sets, and the last five, I change the, the way my feet are. You'll see that when I... I'm gonna get nice and comfy cozy, comfy -cozy in this cozy machine in first. Make sure that your hips and your pelvis are flat on the bench. Don't arch your back at all. This is almost like working out your biceps when you're training in the gym. Well, she's actually working out her hamstrings, which is the... It's like the bicep of the thigh, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the bicep of the thigh. Doing this slowly is good, too. No need to rush. No, no need to rush at all. She brings her feet right up to the top of her seat. If you can hold it here, it's very effective. Yeah, it's great it's Light weight, it. too. No need to train heavy on this exercise. The last five reps, it's like to point of toes. I guess we're ready for our next exercise, which is the seated calf raise. So she's stretching the whole entire back of her leg right now. Hamstrings, the calf, the whole leg. Getting the weight here ready to put on the seated calf machine so Diana can demonstrate the seated calf for us. This is a good height for me. You don't want this pad too high or you Just won't right. get enough of a stretch. The higher up you go and the lower you go, the more of a stretch and the more shapely your calves will become. Keep your feet pointed directly ahead for the first 10. For the next 10, point your feet out so your feet like a duck. And for the last 10, point your toes in so you're bow-legged. Yeah, remember this exercise. Always keep the balls of your feet on the uh, edge of the machine, almost like you're trying to stand with your tiptoes. It, it makes the exercise a lot more difficult because yeah. calves are a stubborn muscle to build. But actually, the heavier you go on this, the bigger your calves will get. You can use heavy weight, but Diana uses a light weight because she's got pretty good-sized calves. She's just going for uh, definition after uh, in shape. three sets of 30 reps of these, your calves are really starting to burn. Yeah, next day you can't even stand on, your, on, the, on, the, on your feet. That goes away eventually. Yeah. My last calf exercise, I like to go in the uh, hack squat machine. If I can, the Diana pulling my uh, shorts down here. Just making sure you look appropriate. Yeah, get in the hack squat machine. Put my arms under the pads, lift the weight up, keep the pins in place, and then start calf raises. Davey's on a platform right now, so he can go 
down and get a really good stretch. And he can go just as far the other way going up, which is the benefit of doing standing calf raises. You work a uh, larger area of the calf muscle. Do about uh, 10 to 15 repetitions of these um, with whatever weight you're comfortable with, as long as you're doing them uh, strictly, don't rush through it, and about four sets. And it finishes off your leg routine. Well, we're starting off shoulders. We get going to the power rack to do some uh, press behind the neck. It's a real good exercise for the uh, whole deltoid area. Dan's gonna give me a spot off. Oh. I'm also here to make sure that uh, Davey's got the bar balanced. This is the entire deltoid area. This exercise is very good for warming that up. Davey's gonna do 10 repetitions for four sets. And when I do these, I do a much lighter weight, the same amount, 10 reps for four sets. And it's a good idea to do this in front of a mirror so you can watch yourself, watch your balance. Last one. Good, Davey, excellent. Okay, now we're in the cable crossover machine and I'm gonna be doing shoulder lateral raises. First of all, you wanna check your stance. You want your feet about shoulder width what? apart. Yeah. You want your stomach in, your back straight, and your chest expanded. I'm gonna do these for a count of seven, and I'm not gonna raise my arm any higher than shoulder height. Yeah. When she comes up, she inhales on the way down. She exhales. This works the whole entire sholdder area, which we call the striations, or the finger area, because you can actually put your fingers in her deltoids. She's really ripped up the Okay, now I'm gonna turn around and I'm keeping the weight in my left hand before I start with my right hand, doing the exact opposite on the other side. I do this as a front raise. Keep in mind, she did the side ones first, now she's doing the front ones, so she's actually supersetting, which is a really good burning sensation for the shoulders. It really gets those shoulders pumped and ripped. This next exercise complements the one that Diana just did. It's called the bent over dumbbell lateral raise. It's right in your positioning. Your back is slightly rounded. Your stomach is tucked in so there's no stress on your lower back. And your feet are close together. Pick up the dumbbells. And then... Inhale on the way up. This is a nice controlled movement and it really works this area. Gives you good thickness through the shoulders and the shoulder blades in the back. Do this for 10 repetitions, four sets, and I do a much lighter weight when I, when I do these. Okay, here I am, I'm in the squat rack. I'm gonna show for you the Diana Hart Smith way to do uh, upright barbell rows. And uh, these were taught to me by uh, Davy Boyd. Okay, you start, feet close together, close grip with your hands, on a straight bar, abdominals in nice and tight so there's no pressure on your lower back. And for 10 repetitions of four sets. Diana's working uh, trapeze muscles right now, which is a muscle which comes from the lower part of the ear all the way down to the rotator cuff. Gives a nice, lean trapeze muscle, nice shoulders right here where the fingers are. And if she uses a heavy weight, she'd end up with big traps like the British Bulldog, so she prefers to use a lighter weight. Remember, when you're doing this, don't swing the bar and don't bring it up too fast because you might end up hitting yourself in the chin. We don't want any injuries on this exercise. Or throwing your back out. That's it. Okay, we're gonna head over to the power rack machine now, and we're gonna do a power exercise called shoulder shrugs. That's it, this exercise is good to build in massive traps. I have to keep my feet shoulder width, my arms, but shoulder width. Don't pick up the bar with your lower back because you could end up really straining your lower back. So pick up the bar using your thighs like a deadlift and then bring up your shoulders to you, like you're trying to hit your shoulders with it to your ears, like so. I know Davey usually goes to about 500 pounds when he's doing this, but uh, he's shy today, so he's going a little lighter. 
And I train a lot lighter when I do this exercise with uh, dumbbells. And I roll like this when I do this. We always do about 12 to 15 repetitions for four sets. My mom and dad are role models for me too. I could never, could never do what they've accomplished. I know I couldn't, but I still try to at least um, uh, be something they would be proud of. I don't want to disappoint them. Arnold Schwarzenegger, or, you know, Sylvester Stallone. Or, I know it sounds kind of hokey, but that, that's who they were, you know, when I was a kid. And, you know, I still buy muscle mags to this day, you know, and, you know, read articles on Arnold Schwarzenegger and... And my sister Georgia, I think she just is really soothing. She's extremely strong. She's a lot like, she's the best of my mom and my dad. And uh, they're the best. So she's probably, that would make her the best, ultimate best. It's hard for me to see myself as a role model to the kids, but um, that's the best part for me is, uh, I mean, the kids look up to me, you know, because I've looked up to other people too, you know, and I know what it feels like. It's, uh, it's the best feeling. I guess I'd have to be managing Davey and Harry wrestling. <laughs> Wrestling's um, one of those sports where you just, you, you think you can just walk out of it and do something else, but you can't. You know, I was, I've done it since I was 12. This is all I know and all I've ever, ever done, and it's all uh, I ever will do, you know, is uh, wrestle and entertain people and, you know, make them laugh or shout or scream or cry or whatever. I'd like to have more children. I, I have two right now, Harry and Georgia. Uh, somehow and they're really good with their nephews and or their cousins, and uh, I think they would, I think it's, I think Georgia should have a sister and Harry should have a brother. It's, it's been uh, a long and winding road, but finally, I finally made it. Yeah, I would say it's my dream come true, yeah. Thanks for joining me and Davey today. We really hope you enjoyed our workout. That's right. And if you follow our three-day workout routine, I guarantee you, you'll see results. You can complement our workout routine with cardio, like jazzercise, or jogging, or walking. So in the meantime... And in between time... Have you ever actually seen anybody uh, break their proboscis doing this exercise? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's a real good shape and exercise. Yeah, I don't want a lot of mass. I just want to be, oops, I just want to be tripping. I just want to be tight. A less calf exercise. I like to get in the hack squat machine, but uh, reverse myself in the hack squat machine. If I can do it, <laughs> that is. And uh, put my feet together. This exercise we're going to do next is not a side headlock. <laughs> But it's a one arm dumbbell roll. Okay. Why do you want to let go? Because I like you. <laughs> <laughs>